My eyes are puffy? The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> hey girl gang. Hello everybody. Hello. It's so good to see you guys. I hope you're all having a pretty good day. Oh. Y'all, before we get into anything, I want to say, um, I'm sure everybody's heard, Life by Jen. Uh, Jen passed away. Um, I just want to say rest in peace to Jen and uh, my thoughts, my condolences to her family and anybody who was left behind. Um, I, we were live earlier on Twitch. I've said this before. I just want to repeat this here too. I've heard, I personally had never seen a video by Life by Jen. Uh, I've heard a lot about her today. And last night, uh, I've heard good. I've heard people telling very negative stories too. It's not good. You know, it's not all good. But uh, just my own personal beliefs, when someone has passed, it's not the, the time anymore to, you know, harp on the negative. So, um, and I also, like I said, have very limited knowledge of this woman. So from me, genuinely, uh, I just want to say, rest in peace, Jen. It's so sad. What a, what a horrible horrible end, you know? Uh, and yeah, condolences to her family and anybody left behind. So moving along, I don't want to sound insensitive, just moving along. I just, I, I genuinely didn't know much at all, at all about her. It's a name that, I, yeah, of course I've heard her name in the community, but I had never even seen one of her videos. Never speak ill of the dead. That That's just how I believe also. Listen, it's, you know, to each their own, but that's me. All right. Onto our girl. All right. So, um, hold on. We're going to be taking a look at two live streams today and yeah, she'll probably come live. We'll, we'll decide what to do because she had put up a community tab poll where it was like, what should I get for dinner with my credit card? And I went, Oh no, is that it? Is that the end of crackhead Olympics? You will notice there were no Olympic rings in our thumbnail tonight. Um, I fear we may be back to the boredom. So we're going to play it by ear tonight. Okay. We're going to start first with the very short stream from last night called fried cheese and diet tomorrow. I heard that she addresses the passing of Jen and I, I want to see what she has to say about that. Then we're going to pivot, of course, to the stream that she did today called it's official again. Apparently, they, she's live now. She, oh, that neck. She, she's got some timing, this one. She's got some timing. Of course she's live. We just came live. <sighs> she's apparently moving. Apparently, it's not to Montreal. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't know what to believe. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. She, oh, she, oh, she threw me off. I had a plan. She always messes up the plan. Hold on. I need another tab now. <sighs>
Oh God. Okay. 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 Here's what we need to decide. Uh, F the stream from last night. There's the stream from today where she says she's going to move. I'm kind of interested in watching that one. There's right now going on. Uh, she's stuffing her face on Greek salad, making sex noises over a goddamn delivery salad. It's up to you guys. Do we go in? Do we see what's going on? Do we get the hell out? Or do we let it marinate? We watch the stream from earlier today and we come back to her live. It's your call, girl gang. Nope, no food. Grandma Spud, I'm with you. Camberg with 5,000. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. Marinate, marinate. Dip, go in. No eating. <laughs> marinate. Okay, I'm seeing marinate seems to be the dominant idea, and I love that idea. So fuck all that noise. We're going to get into the stream from earlier today called It's Official Again. Okay, we're not going to watch the whole damn thing. Well, let's just shit marinate for a bit, and we're going to jump in. Hold on. Let me get the tab. All right, she's on 1.5 speed. We're really marinating the shit out of this one. Hey, baby Nia. Hello, guys. Hold on. I was just in the rain. <laughs> All right, let me get the highs in here. Lynn, Peg and Grandma, hello. <laughs> Ray Ray, come fondue, no name. Alyssa, Karen, Keisha, Liliana, Rebe. Aisha, Brooke, K, Trixie, plain cheese, the gas. Estrella, it's official. Yeah, me and Metin. I'm just joking. <laughs> Autumn, you better not be back with Metin. Liliana, Rebe. I found the perfect fucking, I found our perfect home. It's done. It's done. It's fucking done. It's done. And we're not moving to Montreal. I'm very excited. Listen, so many people tag me with that on Twitter. I'm very excited. Uh, am I wrong to not believe it yet? With this woman, I don't believe anything until I see it. Is that at least fair? I hope, I hope, like fingers are so crossed so many times that it's true and she's not moving to Montreal. But I'd like to see it first and then I will believe it. I do not believe that she's secured anything. I think like, like this, this is excited Chantal. She's found something. She may have seen a place. Has she signed a lease? Does she have a clee? A clee. Oh my God. I just read the word cleavage and I called it a clee instead of a key. <laughs> I don't know if she has all those things in place. Just because she's seen a place she likes doesn't mean it's her place. I like Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace is not mine. You know, it meaningless. I don't know. Let's keep listening. Somewhere in between all of the places that you guys know about. Actually, you wouldn't even know. Not Gat, no, no. No, it's not somewhere anywhere of where. It's like in between the outskirts. <laughs> somewhere. What is the exact address? <laughs> keep it a secret. Is it near Eastside Mario's? Maybe. Why would it be near Eastside Mario's? Do I like Eastside Mario's? Liliana, I'm glad you're back. Brooke, I'm serious. Well, I mean, if all goes well, inshallah, God willing. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. When has she ever said inshallah before? Ever? Never. Never. Where did that come from? <laughs> Is that another one of those cokey slips? Is that like when she said infidels? I'm not saying inshallah has anything to do with infidel. Inshallah means God willing, right? But when has she ever, ever said inshallah before? Ever. Never. Hmm. Very interesting. What language? It's Arabic. I'm moving November 1st. 
That's my birthday. We're getting a moving arc for my birthday. Well, bitch, happy birthday to me. Don't come to my city and fuck up my birthday. So I get to take advantage of that one last month of rent free and what is a Hooterite community? Coffee toast. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, Wait, thank I, you for the super I'm chat. Excited. excited. Oh my god, I have nothing packed. Oh god. All right, we're gonna try to do something every day starting tonight, tomorrow. No, I'm gonna start here and there. Not Lachine, not Montreal. Because you know what? Thank you, Tiffany. You guys were 100% right. Like, do you know how much it hurts me to fucking say that? Oh, but she's not gonna go any further. What were we 100% right about? We were right that she was only moving to Montreal for Cokie. We were right that she was moving here just to get closer to her crackhead. And we were right that he never wanted her and continues to not want her. Castleman, maybe. That's a good location because it's right in between. Well, you'll see, Ashley. I'm going to keep it a surprise. I'm going to try. I want to really keep it a surprise. Milky, congrats, beautiful. What do you like about the new place? Thank you, Richard. Mon Brax, thank you so much for the super oh, chat. I like I but what? tub. A fucking tub. And that's my favorite thing, is a tub. And the kitchen. Did you shut yourself last night? There's a crap stain? Where? Oh, God. Do you remember when they were planning to move into the villa? And she said the thing she loved so much about it was the kitchen. It was supposed to be this like beautiful gourmet kitchen. And she was going to do all these cooking videos in her beautiful kitchen. Now it's all these years later. Now she's ready to move out of this place and move to another place. I love the kitchen. Girl, stop it. We don't care. Show us the new place. Don't tell us about the new place. I don't care where she broke the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that kitchen. Exactly. Hillary, thank you so much for the super chat. She could be moving to the greater Montreal area. Damn it. I get the vibe she's playing with technicalities. Well, listen, listen. The other day when she came to Montreal and she said that she had just seen two apartments. Do you remember? And she was eating at that really random restaurant in Laval. Laval is like the suburb of Montreal. It's like just off of the island of Montreal. I can accept that still. I don't like it. I don't even want her on this side of the Quebec border. But if she must come to my vicinity, she can keep Laval because I never go to Laval. Like, fuck Laval. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> she can have Laval. Don't ever come on Montreal Island and I won't leave the island. And like that, I suppose it's fine. But I'd prefer you not. What's wrong with Cornwall? She said, she did say at the beginning, it's somewhere in between, right? She said somewhere like in the middle. You know, it's exactly in the middle of Montreal and Ottawa. Cornwall. Wouldn't that be a great arc if she pissed off and went to Cornwall? I would love it. <laughs> Rusty. Oh, Pete doesn't know yet. We oh, do shit, yet. Fanny. Okay, wait, wait. We, we're, we're taking back the comment about Laval. She can't have Laval. Laval is too close to com for comfort. No, she doesn't get Laval. She gets Cornwall and that's it. I'm not giving it. Until the day I move. I know, Rebe. <laughs> Not even going to say if it's a condo or house. No. We all know what you're going to use the tub for. Gravy. No, I'm kidding. Is Pete going to live? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys are right. It's probably not a good idea living in, <laughs> in the same city as somebody who made my life a fucking nightmare. Okay, Wiccan mom. Okay. She said Castleman, which is halfway fantastic that sounds way too english to be on the quebec side i'm gonna say that's still in ontario and that's fine with me ontario is yours <laughs> and she's ontario's so you should keep her but i was dumb did you stop paying to live where you are no but like we got our last month already paid for I knew that would come in handy someday it really sucks paying first and last you're like fuck you five thousand dollars or whatever you got to pay but it's worth it. Pete's live in a shed? No. Hi, Tiff. I missed you, Tiff. Lush bath bombs. Missy Moo. Hi, Missy Moo. I've seen your nice video about Jen. That's nice. No, I'm not buying a property in Cuba. 
but there is a man from Mexico that I'm talking to that I kind of like. Okay, wait, wait, Wiccan mom, follow up question, or anyone else in the chat who might know about this Castleman place. Uh, is it like, would she move there? Is it realistic to think that she could move there? She could find a place to rent. She could move there. Is there something to do there? You guys let me know. What? You know me. I'm just talking to people. Nope. With an exclamation point. Uh-oh. I'm so, I feel what part of Mexico? I don't know. It's in the middle of nowhere and super tiny. Oh, Jesus. I don't remember this. I it's deader than Ottawa. Oh, well, okay, wait. Is that the border city? Okay, wait. But didn't she say she wanted... Did... Wait, is that stupid thing? I bet it is still up on her fucking channel. About her arc of moving to Montreal. Wait, let me hit refresh. Is that thing still up? Of course it's still up. I don't know. What if she's coming here and she just doesn't want anyone to know? Uh, y'all, I'm nervous. I'm nervous until we find out where she is. I don't like this. I don't know. Uh, she doesn't do anything anyway. I know, but she likes the illusion of like lying to people. Can you imagine she turns off, for example, she turns off the uh, live stream for two hours. She can lie to us about having been to somewhere more exciting if she lives in Montreal. I think that's what it all comes down to. And plus the Uber Eats is banging in this city. City, Tijuana, Tijuana, Culiacan, Juarez, Michoacan. Out of respect for Jen, please apologize for the. I laughed at a comment. Yeah. Sunflower illustrations. Thank you for the super chat. Well, aren't you lucky today? Well, Damn it! Going to Mexico, when is it your turn? Wait, why is it always the ping pong between Quebec and Ontario? Why? Why can't she branch out? There's a whole other province on the other side. Why doesn't she piss off that way? You know, girl, leave us alone. But, uh, you're not in Mexico. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I wore this dress to meet the landlords. Istanbul bees. Oh, oh God, she so. went, wait a minute, crooked, crooked cleavage out to meet landlords and get an apartment? Yeah, I, good question. Grandma Spud, what about Pete's? What? But I, well, I guess the people listening. I hope she mentions beats. The cities. Do I say them right? Mitch Cohen. I only know. <laughs> uh, do you think that's what happened, Malarkey Meter? Do you think the reality of the new pay, you know, post cook <laughs> crack at Olympics, whatever you want to call? It, do you think maybe the reality has set in, and she's like shit? Let's get a cheap place. It's still somewhat close to Montreal. I can still, you know, stock my crackhead of choice. Mm? I don't know. Maybe. I wouldn't put that past her. Cancun. I know Cancun. Mm. Sinaloa. I basically know all the names of the cities where all the cartels are. Because I watch a lot of documentaries. But that's about it. Have you signed lease? Not yet. But that's all being finalized. I gotta like give all my information. Oh. It's really like Oh, I don't think it's happening. She did that rat face. Wait, 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 wait. I think this is just to have something to come out and talk about today that changed the subject of Koki. Is that possible? Did you sign the lease yet? No, we have to finalize the lease. I have to get my information. And then she can't make eye contact with the camera. And then the next time she does, she's doing rat face. <sighs> Is it possible? There's no apartment at all. Can we just watch that little piece? A li just, just one more time. Hold on. Hold on. Just this little nug. So I got to like give all my information. Oh. It's really like. Oh. Mm, mm, I think it's really fake. Mm, no, no, there's no apartment. She didn't sign shit. This was a distraction. She needed something to come out with today so that if she just flipped on the camera, people would have either 
being given her shit for the fact that she melted cheese and said last night, this is for Jen, like an asshole, or for the fact that she, you know, Melissa cooked Koki. This was a distraction. This was a diversion. This is not true. None of this is true. Oh my God. Montreal is still not safe. Y'all. I had a feeling. That's why you never, you never prematurely uh, celebrate. There's no place. She didn't see shit. She got dressed up, put the cricket cleavage on, hoping maybe Koki was watching. She doesn't have enough eye makeup on to have gone out and met a person, landlords and stuff. No, I'm not buying any of this shit. This is all bullshit. Pix, thank you for the super chat. Me again? Me again? Me? Me again? <laughs> We're not moving to Mexico. Failing a background check. <laughs> It's tricky, Flabera. Hi, Jack. Is Pete's going to be on the lease? No. No, Pete's is not at all going to be on the lease. <clears throat> but what does that mean? Can you clarify for us? Okay, he's not on the lease. You're not on the lease there either, but you've been living there all these years. He's not on the lease, but is he moving with you? Rego? No, that's too close. Why are you just throwing out random places around Montreal? Ontario. Can you please look on the other side of that board? Why does it have to be here? If she's going to move here, at least Koki and Didi should piss off to Ontario. We don't need them all. That's just not fair. What the fuck did Montreal do to deserve this? FFG said yesterday she's moving with Pete's. Okay, but she just said Pete's isn't going to be on the lease at all. Ontario is closed. It's Ontario's garbage and Quebec doesn't want it. That's not fair. <laughs> We're not having this fight. Hillary, thank you for the super chat. Can Ontario and Quebec come together on this and give her to Saskatchewan? Absolutely, we can. I'll give her to anywhere else. <laughs> and it's not mine to give. Listen, oh, she's not Quebec's problem. We need to clarify this, okay? Stop trying to push her over our side of the border. This is Ontario's shit to deal with. Keep her in Cornwall. Cornwall birth the beast. Cornwall should have to put up with its shit. How do you know it wasn't in Montreal? It could be. You know that you don't have to actually go to Montreal to see a lot of apartments. You can do it remotely and apply through email and online. Oh, fuck my life. You see? <laughs> with official return of the Metin? No. Hi, sweetie. Yes. <laughs> Being a professional clown? Are you claiming Pete as a pet? Yeah, yeah we're living with Pete. You're going to get now? Okay, there you go. So she is living with Pete's. Thanks, Malarkey Meter. That's so funny. I popped it up just as she said it. Huh. Okay, fine. Oh, Pete's, I would be nervous. I don't trust her. She's kind of evil and calculated. If you live in there with your name's not on the lease and she wants to get rid of you, I would rather have my name on the lease also if I was Pete's, but that's just me. Pete's is moving with me. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to throw you guys off my scent trail. That's why I can't beauty. No, I'm not moving to Montreal. I can confirm that. Maybe close. Maybe Trois-Rivières. But not Montreal and not near Nader. Okay? I promise. And I am never talking about him again in my life. All I have left to do is just block his fucking name in here. Plane chase! Basically, I just have to... Yeah, pretty much Paris Marfinade. Like, we just have to finalize everything. Um, all that stuff. Andy. Hi, Beats mentioned last week that he wanted to move to Tenacious Unicorn. What is that? <laughs> Mon Brax, thank you for the super chat, but why would you even picture that? Don't You know what? Sometimes you picture things and it's like you will them into existence. Don't picture that. Don't even joke about that. No, no, no. Why don't you picture her moving in next door to you? Huh? Hmm? Why are you trying to put her next door to me? Leave me alone. Dandy, I don't understand your comment. Is there a ranch or something you want to move to? No. Pete's is living with me, but thanks for the super chat. She, the first time she films from her new place, she will be doxxed. It's going to happen. <laughs> well, maybe not, because let's just say it looks like a lot of other places, so... 
it looks like a lot of other places. Okay, see right away, this is this is like a game of guess who. You can put down all the little duke, 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 duke thingies that are houses. Uh, you remember she's like, I'm not, I'm not telling you if it's a house or it's it's a condo or it's whatever. She just said that it's some place that looks like a lot of other places. Wouldn't that be condos? You know how those fucking condos all look the same? You know, like Dee Dee. It, not just, I don't mean it like Dee Dee. This is no docs or anything. It's just Lachin happens to have a shit ton of those little condo like communities or whatever. Those little shit old condo. I, I hate condos. I hate them. They all look exactly the same. So until proven otherwise, I'm assuming she's moving into a condo. Oh my God, Missy Moo. We have to do decoration bees. We, oh. a weird llama ranch that has a thread on Kiwi Farms that is ran by transgender people. I want to go on a llama ranch. She's moving to the Motel 6. I'm moving into a motel. I don't hotel, I don't motel six, bitches. I corporate stay, okay? Pete doesn't get squat until he gets some chores done. No, you know what? Pete's still a lot for me. Katie, thank you for the super chat, but y'all have to take turns too. It's not fair. Salad berry bees. The only way you won't get docs is if you don't go live while it's driving. Yeah, like if I pick a room and just, or, I mean, I can go around my my apartment or whatever, but... I want a barbecue outside, yeah. Baby, I'm a mega star. Because I say so, I'm kidding. I shut up and leave. Kaylee! She's moving into <laughs> Dee Dee's building. Can you imagine? Okay, she moves into Dee Dee's building. She moves into the unit right next door to them. So she can hold up a little something to the wall and eavesdrop on them through the wall, okay? She's waited. It's moving day. She's finally in. It's nighttime. She hears like on the other side of the wall. Ooh, she puts up her listening device to hear. And what does she hear? I love it the most. Ah! And she goes nuts. <laughs> Let's go with easy financial. No one could ruin your credit but yourself. You could have said no. No, Pete yes. can't say Hillary, no. thank you so much for the super chat. So I totally took advantage of that situation. And I just want to make it right, you know? They'll literally research the paint on the walls. I'm not going to be able to keep it from them, so. But I don't want it to. Oh, oh my God, Crack Noir, yes. And she goes full Kool-Aid pitcher through the wall into Dee Dee's unit. <laughs> Dogs, I want to get there. <laughs> Address your credit cards being maxed out and canceled. No. Well, maybe maxed out, but <laughs> did you ruin this his current credit? No, no, no. It's good. He's fine, guys. I'm kidding. Cleaning Nag Fairy. Oh no, it's Meg! I'm kidding, Meg. Meg, I got a I got a place. I'm just gonna say I got a house because apartment, house, condo, fucking easier just to say home. New home. Just single and ready to mingle again. If you're into NASCAR gingers, absolutely not. No kidding. Aaron, on the bright side, you can go on a date with Jean. Oh my God, why did I read that? Way too soon, way too hey, soon. Hey, 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 I no, hate your name, Chantal and yes. French, your neighbors. God forbid, don't put that into the universe. Maybe Cornwall, Kaylee. I just want to like, yeah, I'm going to help him out. I just, the focus right now for me and Pete is to get a stable, like in a place where we're happy and yeah, getting our situation more stable. Tiffany Dawn, member for six months. When are we moving? November 1st. Ready, son? Ready, Tiffany Dawn. I know, Rebe. Not of trash comments. Yeah, keep your comments about Jen respectful, please, because I really... Lynn, I don't know what the hell you're laughing about. You literally live close to me. Bitch, if she's my problem, she's your problem, too. What the fuck? I feel bad. I mean, I really do. I, I feel really, you know... <clears throat> My heart goes up to Jean and her family. We miss the villa's roaches and rats. There's no rats or roaches here. That was the old apartment. Ugh. That's the problem with high-rise buildings and apartments. Like, oh my god, I feel like such a huge fucking weight has been lifted off my fucking life. Like, you have no idea. You have no idea. Not a ah, damn it, Lynn. Stop flexing your off the islandness. Damn it. What if she ends up in your suburb? Ooh. <laughs> 
no, crack noir, don't say that. FFG, NDG is going to have a fruit fly infestation in November. No, don't wish her on. God damn it. I didn't even think of she she wouldn't move to ndg she can't move to ndg ndg is like uh, okay i'm the dog of ndg and i have pissed all over this place this is my territory she cannot come here ha whoa whoa i didn't even think of that as an option uh, montreal is one thing she said it's not montreal you believe her just like that pam pam oh what if she's trying to throw us off <laughs> FFG, say my name or she moves in next to you. Okay, it will always be a chicken burger. No problem. <laughs> you little shits. Hillary, thank you again for the super chat. She's going to be a support too. I'm putting on the fucking work. We, before we set foot in our new place. Okay, listen, listen. All, all of Canada can get behind that except for maybe Baffin Islands, but fuck all that noise. That's the plan. You're rude. <laughs> Ready, set, repeat, shut up and leave. I will in honor of my new home. Yes, Meg, trust me. I will read all your emails and use them all for my new place. Just actually, which like, hey, break effect, breakfast, pop up, oh, goals. Hello, with Brooke. Yeah. Am I getting new furniture? Yes. Oh my God. Chantal's new home in the Julep's Big Orange. Thank you for the super chat. Fuck you. No. <laughs> like, this is all old shit. You know what? But I'm grateful for this home. I'm not gonna shit on it because this was my home for a couple of years and it did a good job. I'm gonna clean it before I go. I'm gonna be respectful. I mean, really, all I'm gonna really do is just mop floor, vacuum. I'm gonna figure out what I'm selling. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm fucking doing this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. I'm giggling and having a good time while she's delusional over there on her filthy couch. She just says she wants to get all new furniture for the new house. She's been living in this place all these years. They never bothered really getting furniture for it. But apparently now we're getting furniture. Um, she wants to leave. All this stuff is old. They've only lived at that place for maximum, what, four years? Maybe three years? Something like that? Yeah, no, all this stuff is old. Uh, and then says she has to decide what she needs to sell. And look at her throw up her head like, oh, my God, there's just so much stuff. You have nothing. You own barely nothing. What are you going to sell? The fucking head grease stained couch? The chair? Uh, no, no, no. The table that broke with the two chairs that I think that you guys ever assembled and the other two have never even been assembled? What the fuck are you selling? The 2016 Kia Rio that you're still making fucking payments on? Just the thought of it makes me want to sleep. I should forward your mail. I got to forward my mail. I got to do all that shit. But this is a new life for me with all my... Sweetie. 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 The cats are beezing. Come here, sweetie. Mandy, thank you for the super <laughs> chat. <laughs> Damn it. Umbrella, I, I can't promise it. No, it's not going to be integrant free. But. Bum, loser free, yes. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I got made sure we got a very high security place. That's a good thing. Anyway, even if I do get docs, nobody's getting anywhere near my my apartment. So <laughs> No, I was approved, yeah. Okay, wait. We're getting more clues. So now it's an apartment and even if she gets doxed no one's getting close to her apartment. Okay. So it's in a building. <laughs> Is that it? It's a building? There can't be a gate. She's not going to pay gate money with a gated apartment. That, no, no. She doesn't have gate. There's no gate. It must be a building. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, maybe a building with a doorman. Hmm. That would cost a shit ton in Montreal. She couldn't know. Okay. Gated or locked front door buzzer. Yeah, maybe. No, they didn't move into the villa in April 2021. That's when she met Koki. It was April 2021. I think it was the year before April 2020. Maybe. I feel like it was in April. I could be off. I would have to check the archive. An apartment building. 
She also said parking garage. Interesting. Huh. Okay, well, that really doesn't narrow it down. But we're narrowing down what kind of a place she's getting. I like it. I just like playing detective. It's kind of fun. Jen Paints. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Enjoy. Now I just got to do all the finalization. Sorry for clarifying that. Thanks for the super chat. Hi, DB. Yes. For us, Jim Kim. Hi, Applebee's. I missed you yesterday. Sweet. She. I'm so excited. I don't even care about anything. Anything. I'm just going to go upstairs and plan every fucking room that I'm going to furnish. And I got to figure out which room will be pizzas, which room will be mine. And I get, maybe I'll let him pick. I look genuinely happy with pizza. I'm so happy. Knock on wood. Thank you, Lord. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why didn't she just say inshallah again? That's twice now. Okay. What is this? What is this? Why? Why? It's so like put on. It's so like phony and placed there, you know? Ugh. Thunder Rain, thank you so much for the super chat. Wait. She's too giddy for this to be as big as she's portraying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On my kitchen, I know. I haven't, I haven't even put together this bench for my bathroom. I think I'm just going to sell it. It's still in the box. I wonder if I can use it in my bath, bath now. Are you guys so excited? Are you guys so excited? Like, I'm so excited. No, I'm not packing yet. Take a picture of Box Mountain in front. Shut up, Missy! Oh, my God. I love your name. Chantal's on the down low. Get no snow bungalow. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. You get the master, you pay the bills. Oh, hi, Sabina. Thank you. You know what? I know, Jack. I'm so fucked. You guys are going to flip. You guys are going to flip. The rent? Sweet. BBJ's. Oh, you're Cat sweet. deflection. Tell us the rent. Blexillian said she is waiting on YouTube to fix. Oh, yeah. Hmm. The rent? Sweet. And then changes the subject. There's no place. She couldn't even come up with the rent. Because that, that, that tells you something, you know, the amount of the rent. She didn't want to be cornered like that. She knew she would be giving away too much. Sorry. Cat deflection. Classic cat deflection. Damn it. Oh, good question. Montreal have parking garages for apartments. Some yes. Some no. Some, let's say downtown, which would also have like security at the door. Yes. Very expensive. No, she joined and then, yeah, she disappeared because of that. Oh, that's okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. Thanks, Malarkey Meter. He coming through with all the tea. She talks about the rent again later. Thank you. I, I did see a whole bunch of them. Condos, Lachine, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half. I'm letting my hair grow as well. So, I got approved for a mortgage. Fishing Honestly, deep. Thank you so much for the super chat. I'll tell you guys all that. When I move in, you had 40th birthday. Oh my God, Missy, that is gorgeous. I love it. They straighten your hair. 2,400. Close. Two bedrooms. Hi, Tessa. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Ooh, wee. Hey, hi. Hi. Don't you attack her. Hey, Sam. <laughs> Sam. Wait. Do they have bathrooms in each bedroom? Hey. No. That's it. Hey. They're fighting. They're play fighting, I think. Hey. No bees in. <laughs> All right. We'll bees today. Tomorrow we'll pack. All right. The villa will be no more. November 1st, guys. I think the cats will fucking... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get them a checkup and everything. Get them all set up. Mm -hmm. Get their shots caught up. Oh, my sweetest angel of the 10th and 11th and 12th degrees. Mm. Talking about getting the cat set up. It's like, ah, she knows everyone wants to hear that. and 
this whole stream feels like lies. Yeah, I, I saw some of you guys in the chat say, what if she just saw this place online? What if? She's not actually seen it. She's not discussed renting it. She's not, she just randomly seen a place. She got high. She got excited. And that's about it. I hope we get a moving arc. A moving arc for my birthday. I love that. I, get the hell out of the villa by my birthday. Go. Moving arc. Watching them sweat it out on moving day. Go to a new place. If we're always just watching the walls, it's always the same, like, thing going on, the same background, the same bullshit. I'd rather a change of a venue. How's that? You know? It's better than here. We start and clean. It'll take at least a couple of months to be filthy like that. First and last rent, almost 5K. If she moves in Ontario, yeah, if uh, she's in Quebec, there's no deposit. So it's just the first rent, the first uh, month, you know? She's moving in with S Jam. <laughs> that would be one hell of an arc. Hmm. No, yeah, Clover, I'm with you. Until I see a lease, which she's not going to show a lease, but like until, you know what I mean? We can tell when she's not lying. We can tell when something's real. When we can tell that it's real, that's when I'll believe it. Becca, thank you so much for the super chat. I think you're probably right. She's flat, broke, and fantasizing. But a quick little drive to Cornwall, and there's your rent money, eh? Pete's and Kath will hate this. She will not perish. <laughs> They're going to hide. First and last, yeah. No. I want to be vague. <laughs> I don't want to tell you guys details. Well, there was a detail. First and last, yeah. <gasps> no. Okay, so if it's first and last, it's Ontario. <laughs> Woo! I still, I'm not getting my hopes too high up, but instinctively she said yeah okay yay christmas decorate not music come down first so what should i do should i just do my halloween bees in here i don't want to decorate for halloween here i guess i could for a month like i decorate a little area for my filming bbj will outlive us all remove the map now no because i gotta i'm too short i gotta get paid to help me I don't want the tax to go flying with the cats. It's a 2.5 bathrooms. If there's a bathroom in each bedroom, then there's an extra bathroom for the guest. 2.5 bathrooms, yeah. With a rent between 24 and 20. <laughs> most places have that, yeah. Have um, I think most places have like a, like most condos have a master bath and then like a half bath. There you go. Most condos. All right. So she's getting a condo. Got it. Thanks, Chantal. Sweetest angels of the 10th and 11th and 12th and 13th, 15th, 16th, 20th, 23. I can't help it. She's too cute. Yes, Snowy. Cornwall is absolutely in Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. Cornwall is where she should actually have to be by law because that's where she's from. And it's not fair to spread this around. It's not fair. Mama Saro should have to keep this thing on an umbilical cord attached to her at all times. Mama Saro is in Cornwall. This one should also be in Cornwall. It's not fair to the rest of us. One less toilet to destroy. Carved pumpkins, please. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I should put up my light tree. If you tell them how much a month and how many beds and baths, they can just look up apartments in that price range. Yeah, that's true. That's why I got to be very careful. Aww, you're beautiful. Yeah. Ow. Arlene, thank you so much for the super chat. I know what, I know what you're, you're doing. doing. Oh, shit. So are you guys excited? You love being doxed, LOL. No, I don't, but I mean, as long as people don't bug me, I don't care. It's when people fucking bug me that bugs me. Don't show the outside of the place, just inside, or you'll be doxxed and we'll call the landlord. <laughs> no, I'm not going to show much. Will there at least be good food? You know it. We're going to have a great time. You guys are not even going to believe it. You're going to be like, what? I know you're expecting something, but we will all send Pinier to your new place as a welcoming gift. Your bedroom will be the closest to the door for delivery foods. Yeah, Brooke, I'm so ready. Like, this is just getting... No, I'm renting. I'm not going to buy a house right now. <laughs> she says that dead ass staring at the camera as if she's got the option, as if she could get a mortgage. No, I'm not going to buy a house right now. Girl, 
You couldn't rent an apartment in the middle of nowhere, Quebec, in your name. Do you really think you could get a mortgage? Making payments on a fucking 2006 Kia. Talking about fucking buying a house right now. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, Meg. <laughs> I assume will be waiting for him. <laughs> Is there space in the new place for peas ponies? Oh, yeah. Hi, Big Korean. I'm going to have a waffle with paneer. I'm being snipe smile. Rat face. Are you guys excited or what? Let's talk about it. Let's talk a little bit about it. Okay. So, November 1st. <sighs> I'm, I'm going to hyperventilate. I can't really tell you guys much. I apologize for that. I know you're excited like me. I did find a place. Baby, tell me. Does, tell me, does he love you? Like the way I love you. Are there stairs? Okay, so she's still singing about Koki. Tell me, does she love you the way I love you? Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. So we still got Koki on the mind, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, okay, I don't know. I hope I'm wrong, but what if it's much closer than I'm thinking? I don't know. She was in Laval the other day. <sighs> Y'all, I feel sick. I don't want her here. It's not fair. She's a menace. Why? Why? I just, I, I'm going to call this now. I have a feeling this bitch is going to move here. And suddenly any move I make or breath I take, I mean, eh, stack her. Thank you. Eh. The bullshit that went on last year. She lived two hours away from here. If she moves to this city, no. No, no, no. I move freely. You stay indoors and then nobody's stalking nobody. It's going to start. I'm not, ah, Don't come here, you bitch. Carlotta, thank you for the super chat. Into <laughs> a trailer or a mobile home. Wait. A trailer? Uh, what's the work? Because that would be a giveaway. Because condos don't have stairs. Take us furniture shopping with you when the time comes. I'm good at this. It's like the game Guess Who. If you ask if they have a big red nose, it eliminates most of them. A balcony? Yes. Clear a corner in your living room to start. Keep, sell, donate piles. Yes. In the bags? Yeah, we're going to organize this. Is there a pool? Ye maybe. I don't know what I want to tell you guys. Is it in Laval? Maybe. Starbucks in the lobby. Okay, she's sniffing like hell. She's high as a motherfucker. Can we just address the crooked cleavage for a second? Because it's really, it's crooked to such a degree. It looks like if it kept going in the way it is, it would hit her directly in the armpit. Ma'am, arrange your cleave. No one needs to see that. That's not right. Dr. NSL, thank you for the super chat. My girlfriend's bet is the condo next to D squared. Mm. Interesting. They do all kind of look the same. Does it have a walk-in refrigerator? I wish. It's not Montreal. I'm not moving up to Montreal 100%. <clears throat> Don't tell us home renting, buying sites, list extras. Yeah. Yeah, peasant, hello. We are moving. I can't tell you if it's Quebec or Ontario. That's not that broad for me, but it's not Montreal. No, that's not, why. Why would you keep us guessing like that? It's not fair. It's not fair. Laval is like as good as Montreal. Just tell us Ontario or Quebec. Why is she keeping us all hanging like this? It's not fair. <sighs> Flying spaghetti monster FFG. Which cleavage? She has several. The crooked one on her chest. Damn it. Leandra, thank you so much for the super chat. I will never stop shaming that piece of shit, Kia. I guarantee that thing breaks down before she makes the last payment on it. I need some water. At least get a parking spot in the garage. Yes. It's not like you gotta go to work. That's true. You're all I'm in Montreal arc. I guess we're not going to Montreal anymore. I could take down that thing. Yes, 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 yes. Take it down. Take it down. Get rid of it. I'm already in high demand. Okay, so Montreal Arc, I'm not moving to Montreal. Wee! P Day today, thank you for the super chat. I mean, it would have been fun causing the scene, but still not worth it. I'd still rather her not be here. That's it. We're at a hotel. 
if he wants to come and get hotels, that's totally fine, but. <laughs> Is there a soundproof locking basement you can help support my name? Why don't you find someone else other than Mr. Coffee? Yeah. Well, Mr. Coffee's nice. I mean, I am kind of, I'm talking to someone else right now. Oh, fuck off. Here we go again. Leandra, thank you again for the super chat, girl. She's talking to someone else. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh. Koki's never going to be jealous. Chantal, stop making up imaginary people that you're talking to. Just don't talk about a man for a week. Is that too much to ask for? Real man, gigolo, imaginary friend, whoever the fuck. One week, no men. Do it. Because Mr. Coffee is not every day. If you want me to just talk to you and no one else, you got to talk to me every day. <laughs> I sound stuffy, I know. I don't know, I just all of a sudden got a bad allergy attack. And I need to go to the bathroom. He doesn't want to come to my house, Tweety. It's so weird. Anytime I hang out with him, he only wants to meet up in hotels. Like, he doesn't want to come to my house. Even when it's clean, he doesn't want to ever come to my house. I'm not dating, though. A designer to help decorate? I have you lovely people. Yeah, I'm not going to buy anything until I move. Rico Suave. Let's go upstairs. I don't feel too well. Oh, no. She's going it's upstairs. Is this our moment to dip? Do you want to go? Oh, God. Oh, God. We're going up to the llama. This, this is the moment. Have we let her marinate enough? Should we dip out on llama time and go and see what's going on in real time? Your call. I think this is the moment. You know how much I fucking hate llama time. Here to judge. Thank you so much for the super chat and her chat. Absolutely they do. You guys want to dip? Okay, let's go see what's going on in real time. Hold on. Let me get that tab. they not change the carpets where you guys are from? Ginger. What? McDonald's has mozzarella sticks like now? <laughs> Body shaming. Because we're allowed. No, I'm kidding. I'm leasing consultant and we only replace the carpets if they need to be not oh really hey raining nice to see you thank you for the super chat i don't think here they do they make you sign like a, a thing you know that says that they're changing everything i don't know it might be different everywhere like every different leasing company you know what i mean no jay of cornwall mm. Are you Bridget? By the way, I was thinking, as long as we're moving anyway, do you think we should get a uh, PO box? Yeah. Yeah, we better get a PO box. Right? Yeah. I suppose. I guess, right, pizza? People who want to prank us by ordering food can send it to our P.O. box. That's a good idea. Or pay for it. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Pete's excited about I mean, that is a pretty good idea. They should have a P.O. box. She was just randomly giving out her address or telling people, well, the address is on the farms. You can just sell, send me some stuff. That is insane. Fucking hell. Miss Zippy, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, that Yeah, that's in Quebec also. Everybody who lives in a place is supposed to be on the lease, but I don't know. Everyone's trying to hurt you, I'm sure. No, Tiff. Accountable Beauty, stop making Tiff feel guilty. I really, you didn't hurt me, Tiff. I promise. I was, I'm fine. I don't even remember you saying anything. So... No, it's totally okay. Thanks, Tiff. You're the sweetest. Put your pink hat back on. I'm kidding. I would be sad if Pete and you didn't live together. Yeah. Oh, didn't take long to change that sofa. Eh? <laughs> hey, Tracy, thank you for the super chat, girl. 
Well, now she's just sitting around. She seems a little baked, uh, talking about the apartment that may or may not exist. And uh, here, too, before I go, absolutely, I'll just, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of overwhelmed, but I'm also excited, so I'm not, like, too stressed out about it. You know what I mean? Let's smoke a bowl. Mm, Wicked mom. That's interesting. That's a really good theory. Hawksbury does make sense. Hmm, that's a good one. It would be cheaper rent. You could get the condo, kind of living better for less money. Very interesting theory. What? No, Meg, I need to activate it. You know what I mean, Meg? <sighs> ah, look, some motherfucker in the chat. FFG is stream sniping and she walked away. Stay walked away. <laughs> I think I'm Damn a it. boyfriend. I want someone who, when you'll DoorDash, how much do you guys tip? It depends. First, bitch has no life. Oops. I'm, not I'm gonna clean out my bomb before we go and I have the box for it still too. Ah, look, she doesn't even give a fuck. Of course, bitch has no life. Move on to the bong. All right. Can't smoke in my new place, <laughs> so I'll have to just smoke outside. It's not treats. That's what happens. I'm you so see, you wanted to be a narc ass bitch. You spent your two dollars. Really two dollars wasted to be a narc ass bitch for nothing. A pew oh. pew. What happened, Tiff? Tiff. No. Tiff, I said, can you hear me, Tiff? Tiff. Don't listen to Accountable Beauty. I love you, Tiff. You know I love you in your pink hat. I would never be mad. Well, I mean, with me, you never say never, but don't take it personally. I'm kidding. I wasn't mad at you, I promise. <laughs> Thanks, Tiff. I would not do that, Tiff. Jesus Christ, look at her just... What did they say? Ontario, they say hoot. She's taking a hoot. I think Tiff is <laughs> Storm the Norwegian Puffin Dog. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Are we allowed to do this on YouTube? Ma'am! <laughs> Where's accountable? He needs to see what he did. Where are you? Miss Pete's TMI. <laughs> yeah, we had a good sexy time together, Pete's and I. I mean, I like we loved each other. So when you're in love with someone, you just want to be making out with them all day long. I feel like that's just what I want to do. I want to, I want someone to do that with, like, there's no reason I need to be sleeping alone tonight. Oh, for the love of God. Gas and I'm just kidding. It's okay, Tiff. We all like you. Yes, Tiff. Don't ever go anywhere. Yeah. No, don't ever. Yeah. Tell her her face looks like mold, black mold. The fuck? That super judge said, FFG said your fupa has mold in it. And that's her reply, bitch. Say, if I would say anything has mold in it, it would be probably the inside of your bong because you don't know how to clean it. And then you're going to get moldy lung. Uh, I wouldn't come for your fupa mold. 
<laughs> yeah, send me more money. Fuck, my rent is like triple. I'm kidding. Jesus Christ. Six grand a month. Bullshit. It's not more than it's blue cheese. Mind your business. Men and food. Fucking right. Is there anything else to life? Crochet, right? Are you going to say crochet? What? When Jesus Christ. See? And Men and food. There's nothing more to life, according to her. Bridget. Can we send a weekly 22-gallon bag of packing peanuts to your P.O. box? <laughs> no! Poop and mold is normal? No, it's not. Do you think I can afford 6K? Honestly? I mean, I guess... Miss Allison, I have no friggin' idea. I would imagine but not if you're monetized. That. Maybe if it's like an 18 plus, but I have I no idea. It's a lot for rent. Don't you think so? That's like the rent of like five villas. No, three villas. A fixed mortgage. Do you know that nothing makes me feel less excited about life than the term fixed mortgage? Are you hiring movers to pack? Not to pack. Sofa? I think packing would be a fucking cinch, honestly. And whatever I don't, I'm going to have like piles like Meg suggested. See, Meg, I listen. Give away. Hi, Kristen. Or sell. Give away, sell. Take oh, God. trash. There's nothing to give away or sell in that shithole. Just, well, I mean, give away. Maybe someone wants something. I don't know. Dark Heart, thank you for the super chat. Don't be offended. She could never. Poor to live in Manhattan. Oh, yes. That's what I'm saying. Cross a different border, not Quebec border. I don't know. Knock on wood, but I love Canada. Ooh, ooh, okay. yeah. Pete said you bought the pot pie with cash. No, I didn't. I used my prepaid fucking visa debit from Scotiabank, okay? <laughs> uh, Chantal, you can't afford to fart in Manhattan. The fuck? <laughs> leave a present for next renters. I'm going to leave them a love note. No, the people cleaning the place will take it. I'm going to leave a little note somewhere where they can't get it. Let me see. In the dishwasher, maybe. <clears throat> I live in Cali and pay eighteen hundred for my house payment. That's not bad. Eighteen hundred for a house? That's pretty good. It's like what we pay here. <laughs> but nothing is included. I have to transfer all my utilities and everything. Oh my god. The ghost of Elsha. If she has no credit, how is she going to get all this shit with one of those YouTube paychecks? And then be broke again for a whole other month. Did you have to downgrade? I'm upgrading. I'm on Long Island and we pay nineteen hundred for a mortgage, but we put Aaron, thank you for the super chat. We're not playing that one in the end that uh, but we discussed it at the beginning of this stream. I like the caps. So are you guys excited for some changes? You can't even cancel Hello Fresh. I know. At this point, I'm not sure I might want to use it again. So honestly, with HelloFresh and stuff like that, I should just cancel it. But I usually just keep them on retainer and just skip the weeks. And keep them on retainer! HelloFresh on retainer! Super rich and super poor. 
Yes, that's America. The gap between rich and poor is is worse in the States, isn't it? Or no? Is it worse here? You're my favorite piggy, Lynn. The door dasher is so nice, I get scared they did some to the food. <laughs> Let's eat something. I'm still full from dinner. Lifetime HelloFresh deliveries to their door. I'll use it as a housewarming gift. Every time I forget to skip the week and they send me something. Damn, chicken pickle. We're all moving to wherever the hell you're from. 1800 in Montreal would get you like a shitty studio apartment. Tired of the fucking three cheese tortellini. I don't want it. What was for dinner? Pot pie and I'm not even, I'm complaining about those mashed taters. No, I'm not going to bother. Hi, Colleen. Carly. My mortgage is twenty nine hundred a month for a townhouse. Yeah, you have a really nice fucking house too. Nice, and that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's good, Carly. Damn, Frenchie's wrong tab. That's a sweet deal. Carly's exterior mortgage will be zero if you move in with me. So fucking. Now, now, those are fighting words which are for Josh. How do I smoke this? Am I doing it right? Hi, Stephanie. We just want brown food. I don't choose your oh, meals. damn. No, Chicken pickle. Every single time they give me a tortellini. Wow. How many tortellinis do they have? You have an 805 credit store. Get out of here. Can I have half? <laughs> fuck! The fuck was that? Sam? Sorry, Lynn. Ready, set, ready. Sorry about that. I thought you were sending a thing. I have good credit, too. Well, la dee da. So do I. You're doing it right, but you need to pull longer. Oh. But how come it's so hard? Oh, this is dry. This is extra fucking dry. Should we do the five minute thing? Is this all it's going to be? Smoking that fucking bong and talking mad shit with the idiots in her chat? Because, uh. <laughs> it was taking forever for the smoke to come up. Okay, this is the There's one. no smoke, FFG. Yeah, what a surprise. She doesn't want to inhale from the bong either. I do have breathing issues. Carly to collab again. Yes. Carly, are you going to come see my new house? Oh my God, you and Josh totally have to fucking come and stay at my new house. I'm going to send you all the house info. You guys can be my first guests. <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> the resin up. And bring Nick. Hey, we can make a content house. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think I could live with anybody except for Pete's like, Carly's like the same as me in a lot of ways. Like I get anxiety to the fucking max with like strangers in my house for too long. What the shit is this? Like, I don't know if like, you like that, that Carly, Carly but, but like, like you seem like you like to have people over because like Carly's got like this setup in her basement. She has a snack bar, like a whole ass snack bar. Like I don't know how you manage to have full ass size chocolate bars in your house just laying around all on display. I would eat them all. 
Oh, my God. Of course. Are we supposed to be surprised? Oh She's God. like, I really Everyone would. Yeah, yeah, girl. We believe you. Chocolate bars. bars. There was this one kid, lucky little shit. His dad worked for Frito-Lay. So we, we would, he would give out, like, he would just start tossing huge fucking large bags of chips and Doritos. Has Carly met Pete's? I don't think so. No. Oh, I have no fucking marshmallow fluff left. I, don't, I still don't want Lakma. I'm totally, I'm over, I think I'm over Lakmas. I go through phases with food. Like right now it's pot pie. Remember? Okay, let's name my food phases. Money, Chantal, money. Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't give a damn about your fucking food phases. It's bad enough we watch the food phases when they happen the first time. No, 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 no. All right. Fuck all that noise. What do you say? Wait a minute. Where is my tab? All these tabs. So many tabs. I want to go backwards. We're going to go backwards in time now. We're going to take a look at if you guys are down. The quick live stream from last night. It's only half an hour long. We'll speed it up. It'll be even less than half an hour long. Uh, fried cheese and diet tomorrow. It's the stream where she's going to find out about what happened to life by Jen. Hold on. If... Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, from what I heard, I don't. I I I heard that she said something kind of stupid when she found out, and I want to see the vibe going on when she said the stupid thing to see how malicious was she trying to be malicious? Was she just high and stupid? You know, I want to see this. Hold on, let's get the tab. just for shedding cheese. I don't like the Armstrong brand. Hey, Brie. Are you heavy metal, Brie? Oh, son of a bitch. Hey, Claire. Hey, Spam. Cheese. I mean, J-Boy Cheese Bees. Okay. Man, this is a Wendy's. Rodian, thank you for the super chat. That is a really good point. Very good point. I'm stroking my cheese grater. That's what I'm doing, Jamie Carpenter. All right, I got it all ready for the microwave. Just how I like it. Okay, I have a question about the context. And this is, I, I'm missing context. I don't know what time she may have found out about Life by Jen yesterday. And then what time she came out with this stream. Because did she find out about Jen and then came out with this fucking cheese thing? Or did she actually, was she melting cheese on a plate, eating it, and then found out about Jen? Because it, it, that's a little too much of a coincidence. She just happens to be making a cheese full of, a, a cheese full of plate, a plate full of cheese when she finds out about Jen. I don't think so. No, that's sus to me. Check it out. Hi, Sam. Oh, this stream was at 3 a.m. Is that true? Two hours after finding out. Wow. Oh, shit. Thanks for the tea, guys. Figures. Figures. You got, I, I say it all the time. I don't believe in coincidences. And that would have been one hell of a coincidence. Wasn't Jen big on cheese? Yeah. Rumgate. Oh, Bizayon. Wolf cook pondu. Yeah. Jen was really big on cheese. Cheese was her whole things and chaffles. The waffles made of cheese. It got so deeply under Chantal's skin. There was a time they were in a fight and she blocked the word chaffles from her chat. Hmm. Yikes. <laughs> I got mad at Pete. Because he was taking 
10 years. Like five minutes of her fucking off. Okay. Hi, here we go. Come here, Shui. Come here, Shui. Hi, Shui. Hi, Shui. All right. Aaron, thank you for the super chat and the tea. <laughs> While staying at a group home for trouble teens. I used to steal the cheese from my group home. I used to sneak food into my room. We were allowed like one snack a day. <laughs> I'm getting portly again. Hi, Colleen. Again. Mm. Hey, pocket girl. <clears throat> Is she eating those ramen noodles with cheese melted on top? She, I, I don't think I've ever seen her make ramen noodles. She must be broke. On a level that she's never really been broke. Ramen noodles? No ordering food? Oh. Do you think I believe the trouble teens? They stole my CDs. Oh, yeah. This explains a lot. Yeah, there's a story time. Really, Jamie? Don't choke. I melted mozzarella. Read your super chats. Oh, sorry. Okay. You want to have a cheese sidebar right now? You want to hear the most random rage of your lives? Fuck mozzarella. There. I said it. Mozzarella isn't good for shit. It melts. Woo. Wow. That's all. That's all anyone can ever say to me about mozzarella. Woo. It melts. Wow. You know what it doesn't do? Taste. It's got no fucking taste. It is bottom of the barrel shit cheese. You can't change my mind about that. Absolute garbage. The trash of this earth when it comes to cheese. You got cottage cheese. You got mozzarella. Okay. Actually, no. Mozzarella is worse than cottage cheese. And I stand by that. You didn't go there. Oh, I fucking just did. <laughs> Come and fight me. Mozzarella. Garbage. Provolone melts and it tastes like something. Hmm? I like that it's stretchy. Nemesis. It's not chewing gum. It's not bubble gum. It's fucking cheese. You don't want to taste? What? Alan Wrench. <laughs> Alan Key. Mozzarella is my all-time favorite. Why? What, why? Do you not enjoy the taste of cheese? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. I see I've started a new debate. There's lots of cap locks. All caps going. You want a pull? You want the cheese pull? Not cheese pull. Fuck your cheese pull and your mozzarella shit. Cheese pull! Coming up. I'm pressing play on this and pull is coming. Feta is the best. Are you my dad? Damn it! <laughs> I don't want to hear about the fucking feta agenda either. Feta is trash. I don't want to hear about the feta agenda. Stop pushing the feta agenda. Did someone tell my dad how to make fucking like an account or something? I'm on to you, feta pushers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Fresh mozzarella is yum. Fresh mozzarella is sort of the only way I would even deal with that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're going to take some, like, disgusting cube of mozzarella out of your fridge like that and just start fucking shredding it to melt on a plate with nothing. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I did, Raven Soul. We talked about it great length last time. Very sad. <clears throat> <laughs> Poop up. What? Yeah, I'm eating it in her honor. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> 
<laughs> I went to a group home because I was delinquent and my mom <clears throat> Chubbo Mama, thank you for the super chat. I completely agree. The, you know, imagine hearing about Jen and you decide to go down and melt yourself a plate of cheese and also make two packs of Raymond with cheese on top. Guy I was in love with. <clears throat> I was just disrespecting my mom a lot, like not. Oh, what's the best cheese? Eldol, what a great question. Ah, oh, there's so many good cheeses. <laughs> Why would you stick on mozzarella? I love Edam. I love Brie. I love Camembert. I love Halloumi. I love cheddar. I love, um, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm a cheese motherfucker. A good Havarti of any flavor at all? Mm, anything, really. Almost, almost everything. It just has to taste like something. Obeying curfew, and she would warn me, like, you know. I'm going to put it somewhere if you don't smarten up. I'm not a Swiss cheese person. I can't stand the Swiss cheese because once it melts, all I can smell is wine, and it makes me want to puke. I never heard from Sloppy Joe. Look at my hair. Is this how it grows in? Hair grows in? Like, I look better. No, I don't know. I don't really don't know. I know AMM. Ah, uh, yes. Gouda is really... I like Gouda. I like smoked Gouda. I love Oka. Um, I was... Oka is... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And she was... 21. So it was, like, not even legal. When my mom called his dad and was like, I'm going to charge your son with statutory rape. And uh, I was like, oh, please let me come over and talk about this, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, mom, please, blah, blah, blah. My mom was so fucking, she hated them, hated him. Smee. Smee put up with a lot with me, but. Mm. <clears throat> These are vegetables. <laughs> Patricia, thank you for the super chat, girl. I'm going to play with melted mozzarella and some government juice. <laughs> Beating time for wild buffalo beezer. <clears throat> okay, Alexandra, let me clarify before there's like a, a war, okay? I don't hate feta. I'm just sick of the fucking feta agenda. My God, these Greeks with the fucking feta. It's enough. Like there's other cheeses in the world too. And then they're going to tell you, okay, this is my dad. Then they're going to tell you. Then my dad will tell you like, yeah, caseri. And you know what? When you put caseri in your mouth, you know what the aftertaste you have is? It's just like fucking feta. It's all the same. For God's sakes, stop it. Every time you say, I want some cheese, they go, there's feta in the fridge. And I said, I said, cheese. Cheese, not your fucking salty fucking <laughs> feta fucking agenda. I'm sick of the feta agenda. I've had feta pushed on me my whole life. I'm sick of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, listen. The best pizza you'll ever eat in your life has Edam and Fontina on it. And it is what it is. Don't go ew until you've actually tried it. And if you had it, I know that right now you're shaking your head going, yup, you're right, yup. You don't even need a little bit of mozzarella on that bitch. Fuck mozzarella. I think I'm just also excited about tomorrow because I'm going to look at property a property that I really want. <laughs> like really bad. Brittany, I'm going to try to grow up my hair, but look at it. It's so thin on the top. It is very sad, yeah. <clears throat> I 
you will see fupa what's it like <laughs> flirty hershey thank you for the super chat but i absolutely will keep cheese shaming you if your pick is mozzarella it is what it is i'm gonna end the poll let's see what you guys think <laughs> hey fmg is um, dead to me why are you pushing the feta agenda or the fucking mozzarella bleh agenda mm. that's why i want to like figure out where i'm moving asap like as soon as possible Karen Cross, 10 months. Oh my God, what a ride. Sarah Kay, thank you for the super chat. Provolone, I love provolone. I like provolone on a sandwich where you guys before in the chat were like, I like Swiss on a sandwich. Swiss is for sandwiches. No, they fuck up your sandwiches. You put provolone on that motherfucker. That, mm, delicious. Pepper Jack, I don't know that I've ever tried that in my entire life, to be real. I hear in the States, all the cooking things from the States, and it's always like Monterey Jack, Pepper Jack this. There's another one too. And it's it's either got Jack in it or some, something. Colby, Colby Jack. That's a, I've never seen those cheeses in my life here. Never. Havarti is good on a sandwich if your filling is mild. Because if the filling is like too strong, Havarti can't hang. It is what it is. I don't like to put cheese on a sandwich if I'm not going to taste the cheese because then it's just like, why the fuck did I add those calories? I can't even taste that motherfucker. It's not worth it. <clears throat> yeah, I could make pie, but I don't, I don't, I hate making pie crust. I might just make apple. Jesus sauce. Christ. Mozzarella is really that popular? Mozzarella is delicious. 68%. A waste of calories. No taste. Bullshit. 31%. Really? Ugh. That's true. <clears throat> You're on a diet tomorrow. Make a salad cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the diet tomorrow. But Killer hot dog. Thank you for the super chat. All right. If I get this place, ah, fiddle faddle. Thank you for the super chat. You know, I've never had a string cheese before in my life. They didn't. Even, they didn't get us string cheese when I was a kid either. God damn it! I swear to. <laughs> Thank God, because I can imagine my dad going, that's okay, we have string cheese at home. And he would be trying to form feta into, like, the shape of a fucking string cheese. God damn it. If I had opened a feta string cheese at school, I would have lost my shit. If I get this place, I promise. Two. What are baked apples? Caramel apple. Mm. You just make caramel with sugar, eh? And like milk or <sighs> no L dog, you don't get a wrench because you asked a good question. Damn it! Stop peer pressuring me. The pie? Oh, mm. uh, Wiccan Mom. See, see that sounds delicious. Brie and baguette. Oh. Mm. That's oh. You get nice and gelato minty. And then you have a nice warm brie that you heat it up in the oven for just a little bit. So it gets just, just a little runny and all. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what's up. Uh, I think I'll be able to sleep, but I think I was just a bit peckish. Um, Laz and Pat is calling. Tapeworm? It looks like an egg. It's Mr. Noodles, which apparently costs No, sweetness, I don't fucking like Kasseri either. It's just another name for feta. Fuck it all. No. Hate it. They're good, those little square ones. I used to hate them. No, they grew on me. Mm. Oh, sometimes food stuff. That is great news. Congratulations, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for being here, and I'm so glad you're doing well. Oh, 
my sweetest angel. Cut them up, add cinnamon brown sugar, and you can add raisins and graham crackers. Yum. That sounds good. Hi, sweetie. Listen, you jackass. <laughs> I admit nothing. First, yeah. I didn't have any old. No Tiffany's rings exchanged yet. Hmm? <laughs> I'm just going to try not to like eat crap like this. That is our... Try to cook again. Healthy shit. Fish what? Thank you for the super chat. Yes, I am. That's my job. Why the hell not? <laughs> when you if you're not shit stirring and, and insulting an entire culture or two or five, what have you really done on a Tuesday? Huh? <laughs> Alexandra K. FFG going to show up at your house and feed you mozzarella. Bitch, no. <laughs> Why can't it be a good chase? Uh -huh. All right. Maybe. I didn't really do anything. Damn it, Flirty Hershey. Damn it. Damn it. Why? I know, Fupa. Claire, I had... Oh, Claire. That's only two packages of noodles. Only um, two packages of noodles, plus the cheese you melted on top of it, plus the cheese you ate on that plate. You make mega plus whatever you ate for dinner, plus whatever you've been eating all day, ma'am. I used to do videos with the PT. Oh, no, 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 no. This is pause worthy. No, this is a hard no. No. Oh, I got goosebumps because I just like imagined what it would smell like right now in my nose. I can't deal. Dr. NSL, thank you for the super chat, but that's a hard disagree from me. Oh, God. The way I hate blue cheese. No. Ironically, though, do you, I don't know if you guys have it in the States. Any Canadians, you know, uh, Renee's dressings, those dressings you buy, like, in the produce section. Like, the blue cheese dressing is really good if it's Renee's. Blue cheese in life? Fuck, just take me out of here. No. Chop my nose off. I don't want to smell. I don't want to live. I got a PT. I'm dating my PT. Who right. the who the fuck said vegan cheese? That's it. I'm blocking you. No, no, no. We're listen. If I'm shitting on feta and mozzarella, I should have clarified. I would eat mozzarella every day for the rest of my life over some fucking vegan cheese. Because if I wanted to eat a handful of cashews, I'd eat a fucking handful of cashews. Are you shitting me right now? Vegan cheese. Get the hell out of here. We're having a, a cheese debate here. We're not talking about blended nuts. I'm sleeping with my PT. I'm dating my PT. I'm getting married to my PT in Barbados. And, yeah, personal trainer. Hey, Amber Smith. Vegan cheese doesn't melt because it's not cheese. I'm with your personal trainer. I'm not a stalker. Even though people think I am. Ooh, okay, fair. La di da. Thank you for the super chat. I do love a good Saganaki, not gonna lie. Yeah, Claire. It seemed like the never ending bowl of noodles, didn't it, Claire? Jesus, Murphy. My BT is Nikocado. <laughs> Can you imagine? It would you would just be on a Walmart scooter the whole time. Yeah, Mila. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Mandy pushing the vegan cheese agenda. Wait. But vegan cheese has come a long way. Try Vio Life vegan cheese. It melts perfectly, Frenchie. Girl, if you think I'm spending money on vegan cheese, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Next time I'm in a vegan store, I'll have my eye out for the... Wait, what was it called? I've already... In one ear and out the other. Vio life. I will definitely, next time I'm in a hip uh, a, a vegan shop, look for the Vio life. Girl, don't 
Don't hold your breath. That's why I do tomorrow. Vegan shaming. Oh, God, that bitch about the eggs is going to start with me again. Oh, fuck. I've already had the fucking vegans on Twitter coming for me. All I said was that the bitch. I put up the picture of the egg bites. Some vegan starts. Some vegan starts about the fucking eggs and the chickens and the. Okay, okay. I put the tw- the screenshot onto Twitter, and all I said was, "Why are vegans the Jehovah's Witnesses of the food industry?" I stand by that fucking statement. All they've done since I said that is prove to me that they are exactly like the Jehovah's Witness because they just, just, just stop, leave me alone, stop coming to my door and pushing your agenda. That's it. That turned into, I was canceled on Twitter because I've I've offended now two groups of people. I'm coming for people's life choices and their religions. Piss all the way off. How's that? I hope that offends a third fucking group of people. I should just... What? You know you're sweet. Yes. I know. It's true. Of course it's true, though. Of course it's true. The the point is the stick is so far up some of these people's ass. They can't even, like, see the humor in some of their own. You know what I mean? Like, some vegans aren't like those radical vegans who are pushing their fucking agenda on everyone. Some vegans can even say, damn, yeah, you're right. And, like, see the humor in that. It was a fucking joke. Calm the fuck down. Like, it was a joke, but based on reality and based on absolute truth. Jesus. Let's go upstairs. Goodbye, horses. I should invite Nick Akato out here. Can we hold you accountable? Um, yeah, but I probably will do it. <laughs> I don't know what kind of diet I'm going to do, but I got to eat healthier. I know oh, I'm yeah, gonna... Mandy. Thank you for the super chat. Fontina is delicious. I love it. Like, honestly. honestly. It's, you know why it's hard? For a health check. Mr. Headboard. Hello, Mr. Headboard. Sweetie. She's trying to dig a hole. By the way, if you don't like stuff in your nose, don't get a nose ring. It's annoying. Hey, uh, do the nose. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so last year when she was sniffing stuff, she was blaming allergies that didn't exist. And this year, because now she pierced her nose, it's like, oh, I have this stuffy nose because of my nose ring. And if you don't want a stuffy nose, don't get a nose ring. Girl, you know who has a nose ring, right? Me! (laughs) You don't have a stuffy nose? Mm, Nice and clear. I can breathe. Always can. Never a problem. But I'm not sticking stuff up there. So there's always that. Just saying. Oh, sorry. Suzanka, thank you for the super chat. I had no idea there was a feta agenda. Yes. The mass media must be deliberately suppressing that. (laughs) They absolutely are because it's real. It exists. It's strong. Mediterranean diet. That's what I was doing. I was doing the Middle Eastern diet. Three weeks. Oh my God, Badusi! Oh no, the picture is still the feet. Uh, Chin Marie Dusi, I spread it open to scissor you. Thank you for the super chat, Badusi. Chin Marie Dusi. <laughs> Are you coming upstairs? Come on. Is she trying to tell I absolutely out? am. Thank you for the super chat, Killer Queen. Yes, you're beezing. You're beezing. I gave you tuna bisque. And you're still beezing, even though I gave you tuna bisque. I don't appreciate it. Get out of here. <laughs> I love starting to fight me. Tamara, thank you for the super chat. I gave her tuna bisque. She has the nerve. You have some nerve, BBJ. Hold on, guys. Let's go upstairs. I gotta get. I gotta go see this frigging place. So, come on, Francisco. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, 
I disagree. I love a good cheddar, an old cheddar. Are you shitting me? All right. Sushi. FFG. Violife makes feta and it's made in Thessaloniki. What? No. I mean, they can keep it either way. I don't fucking want it. I don't like vegan cheese. I don't fuck with feta either. But that is sacrilegious. I'm going to tell my dad about that. He's going to start crossing himself. Oh, he <laughs> see, he mumbles to himself in Greek and crosses himself. Oh, let's, head, let's just relax and chill the fuck out. Hi. You're going to start eating healthier. Where's Pete's in his room eating? Uh, nachos and hot dogs. We just raided the fridge. There's school tomorrow. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Graveyard flowers. Thank you for the super jack roll. And go to sleep after. Why did I go live? Because I can't even eat a package of noodles without an audience. What do I think it's done for? The oil from the concentrate. Call him in there. No. I don't want to bug him. You want to tell him something? Fuck this stuff. Oh, boy. Well, cancel me again, I suppose. P-Day today. Thank you for Super Chat. I hate craft singles with everything in me. And I don't like grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh, What are they bugging for? I don't even know. I'm so tired right now. Keely, brie warmed up is melty and delicious and absolutely has flavor a lot more than mozzarella does. It's just so pleasant what and delicious. Like your CPAP? It's a very calming word. Sleep no, I don't like the grilled cheese. Oh, all that like, uh, like out the outer of the bread, the fucking, it makes me sick after one bite. I can't deal. I hate it. How many ponies? I don't even know. I don't even know the names of all the ponies. I don't even know how many ponies there are. <laughs> I guess I'm not a really good Ooh, friend. Am I? Booty thing. Thank you for the super chat. From Munda cheese. I don't, I've never heard of that cheese before. I've never tried it. Ooh. Camel toe or something. I don't know. You know, what's a good treat too? If you feel like sweets is frozen grapes. Yeah, that's what I hear. The frozen cotton candy grapes. I love a cheese toast and it's a big difference. You know, like you make toast and then you melt some cheese on your toast. Once it's already really toasty, you don't put cheese on bread and stick it in the toaster. It'll never be toasty enough. You make toast. Then you put your fucking cheese on and you melt it. I love a good cheese toast, but not a grilled cheese. <laughs> uh, my God. Someone doesn't know pizza in there. You don't do well. Mm, that woman thank you for the super chat yes i love the white pizza it's delicious but also like just like a piece or two and then it's sickening you know what i mean but those first two delicious i'm going to bed i can't have any other human beings in my room what the hell is from under cheese oh is that some kind of fupa cheese or something and i didn't get it ew gross <laughs> wish that tony was a brony so we could call him Brony Tony. But no, then I probably wouldn't have sex with him if he was. <laughs> oh, here's another one to cancel me on my hatred of Burgers grilled cheeses cold. and stuff. I don't like yeah. cheeseburgers. I never have since I was a kid. No. Ugh. You put cheese on a burger. It's just fucking gross. I don't like it. Just burger. No cheeseburger. Hey, Claire. I'm going to bed. I would stay live longer, but I'm so tired. So... I'll see you guys tomorrow after my appointment and let you all know how it goes. <laughs> Good night, guys. Bye.
Okay, well, she's done with that one too. I barely listened to a word of that one, to be honest. That was just a, a cheese dream to me. <laughs> so that was done. Now we have decisions to make. Do we take one last dip into her live stream right now, see what's going on? And I, we don't even give a fucking five minutes. If it's so boring like it was when we left, we get the fuck out of there. Or do we not even bother and we call it a day? It's your call. <laughs> Janet, thank you for the super chat. Talk about small ears, candy, and my... Oh. Yikes. That sounds intense, girl. Um, Enjoy it. I hope I never try. You guys want a little peek in. Okay, hold on. Let me get that tab. Wait. Shin Marie Dussy. Thank you again for the super chat, girl. I love the name. Hate the feet with every everything in me. I, I hate feet. Look at those toes. Just look at the state of that foot. Definitely praying for her family, too. <sighs> Jen Paints, thank you for the super chat. Fair. Bees and let bees to each their own, I suppose. It's marmonade. Oh, we have to. Oh, I mean, speaking of Paris marmonade, I need to go friggin' Mario soon. I'm going at nine and 15 minutes flat. I'm concerned about her two cats. Why, Applebee's? Oh, serendipitous Sarah. Thank you for the super chat. How do you know this person is vegan? They'll tell you. <laughs> Love that. So true. Oh, I'm the crispy. Okay. Like just the crispy. Thank you for the super chat. Would you like to hear of our Lord and Savior vegan cheese? You guys are too funny. Yeah, I think so, Brittany. Hello, come fondue. Yes, agreed. Shady Lane, thank you for the super chat. Stop the feta agenda. It's enough with the feta. Everyone on this planet Earth knows that fucking feta exists. You don't need to keep pushing it like that. Oh, my God. Oh, ew. Lord's Grotto. FFG, no. From under cheese is from the balls. Uh, no, you can keep your ball cheese. Thank you. No, thank you. I tried vegan cheese. It was like gloss paint. <laughs> you want vanilla ice cream? Why is your ball spot like this? It's like, it looks like the run Sunwing runway. <laughs> what does he Who thought you were Chantal? What the fuck? Thank you for the super chat, but who the hell? Y'all, it's Badosi. Badosi is not Chantel. Oh, God. You. You make me want to leave the one I'm with and start a new relationship with you. This is what you do. P-Day today. Thank you for the super chat. Football? <laughs> Football question mark? Congratulations. Uh, Seattle Seahawks. That's great. Yeah. Mom's dog fucking hates me. <laughs> Dogs can sense it. <laughs> oh, no, no, God, don't. God, don't remind me. Jump a bubble. Thank you for the super chat. Go, Hi, buddy. And I'll go. <laughs> oh my god thank god mandy oh <laughs> you got me good with that vegan cheese the shit thank you for the super chat and well done beach you really got me mcchubby mcboos mcchubby mcsoups mcchubby mcchubby why did you offend buster Please. That bucktooth Harry can kiss it. 
That buck tooth Harry can sniff my farts. Oh, wait. Jesus, fuck me. Let... Thank, thank you again for Super Chat and ball. for letting me know. I do not want balls. Ball cheese. But from Monday. I thought it was some cheese I never heard of. You guys are nasty. Character voice. You're like, when I do which voice? But why does he hate me? I don't know. I have a complex because of it. Have you ever had a family dog hate you? Never, never, ever. Every dog I've ever encountered in life loves me. What are you talking about, girl? The dog hates you. The people hate you. Everyone hates you. It's not just the dog. The dog can just feel your vibes like everyone else. I also wonder if the family... <laughs> this was a joke. Listen, <laughs> you know, I always say my mom has two sisters. I say, I don't have two aunts. My mom has two sisters because I can't stand either one of them, right? My dog, Ollie, specifically, fucking, the one of the two of them that I hate the worst, the dog, his whole life would growl at. If he saw her, he would be like foaming at the mouth, fucking growling at her. And I used to always make the joke to my mom, like, I've been talking shit about her to him his whole life. That's why he knows he's on my side. <laughs> but no, that was a joke. But they can sense, like, shitty people. And that's why, you know? Why would a dog be nice to everybody? And then he just hates you it's you it's not the dog it's fucking you bitch uh sushi thank you for the super chat how are you gonna send that oh do you not even have to refrigerate that vegan non-cheese i guess that makes sense you don't have to put cashews in the fridge right <laughs> it's not a nice fucking feeling it's like a shih tzu too it's not like a fucking rottweiler but secretly hates everybody Deep down, it's got that dog aggression. It's a fucking Shih Tzu. The family Shih Tzu fucking hates me. I feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> yes. You love me, right? <laughs> I know, right? I think it was a good offer. Jen Paints, thank you for the super chat. We tried. My boy loves me. Oh, yeah. Damn. Here you. Here you. That is a fantastic point. Danielle, thank you for the super chat. Why are vegans always remaking cheese and meat? You made your choice. Right? Right? Agreed. Stick to your fucking salads and shit. Put chickpeas on everything until the end of time. You don't need so cheese and meat. What, why do you need meat? And here's another and another thing. <laughs> no, I'm vexed. And another thing. Uh, a lot of vegans will be like, you know, they taste that impossible burger or whatever. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, it's got the meat texture. Mm. And they say that as like a positive. But you don't like meat. Why would you want the meat texture? Wouldn't that just be reminding you constantly of what you can't have? That makes no sense at all. Like, at all. Cheese is ours. Meat is ours. <laughs> you can have arugula and shit, all right? Oh, oh, and those shitty cashews. Oh, I've seen vegan cooking. It always starts with those shit cashews that, like, you know, they're, like, un, uh, un what do they call? Oh, shit. Roasted, unsalted. It's like a fucking raw-ass nut from a tree. I don't need those. You can have those too. All the raw nuts with the nothing and soaking them in water and shit. Go for it. Live your vegan best lives. Best memory. Oh, no. New York, he hates everyone, but he is 15. Cashews are good. They're delicious. You just got to salt them and fucking roast them. Huh? Your dog loves anyone. He's a traitor. Yeah, I'm going to let my hair grow out. Just get hair fibers again. Sally's. Moving away from Snorleans, flop era. <laughs> Saren, thank you for the super chat. Agreed. Long live Buster, indeed. No, that's not true. Chicken Snugget.
Uh, what can I sing besides when the moon hits your eyes song? Just so we're clear, I'm like half kidding on all this vegan shit. I'm just trying to get you vegans riled up. Bees and let bees live and let live. I'm kidding. <laughs> do whatever the hell you want. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. I got triggered as fuck that day with the fucking egg thing. That's It wasn't deeper than that. Now I'm going and going, just pissing you guys off, right? Just let me eat my eggs in peace. Is That's all it is. You don't want eggs? Cool. No one's forcing eggs down your throat. Don't come at me with like calling them chicken abortions and shit. Piss off with that shit. Set myself up a little space and bang out some writings, bang out some productivity of some sort, of some sort. Maybe some little short films or something I can work on. I just want to do some fucking side projects. Well, you sweetness, I took it half back. I said I'm half kidding. I mean, you want a new job for me. I want my hobby to earn me a living. That's what I want to do. So I need to be in a place conducive, is that the word? To productivity. And the right head, I need a, a routine. Like I, you can't be a fucking successful boss bitch if you don't have a routine. Even something, even my own version, something, you know, some kind of formula, you know? I can't go get food. I got a wheelchair. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, that's the first sentence I've like listened to her in a while. She's boring. She's baked. She's taking an edible. I'm out. Okay. Can we call it for a day? I think we should call it. I'm not interested. When she says she's taking an edible at this point, it's like, ah, okay. We're not going to get anything from the stream. Her voice has already become little. I hate that little voice. It pisses me off. Too early in the week for this shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Foodie was once vegan. Oh, yeah. Plant-based vegan. She's raging right now. Effigy. What are you talking about? We just had her on. That's what was going on live. She was hugging the cat after taking a wheelchair. That's a rage. That's a stretch. Hmm? <laughs> Y'all, that's it. <laughs> Wait, no reason to refrigerate. What? Um, anyway, all right, all right. F Chantal for tonight. That's enough Chantal for tonight. Guys, we barely talked about Chantal at all. We've been talking about cheese and eggs and coming for the vegans and stuff for a good hour now. Wait, I just checked her live and she was raging about Jessica and Messenger? We were just literally watching live. How can that be? I'll get the tab open again. Ho oh, ho, we don't miss a live. Hold on. Was it like a sentence of a live a, or a, of a rage? Hold on. Restez fromager. Ficello, seulement de Black Diamond. Oh my God, they're listening to us. That was an ad for string fucking cheese. They're listening to us. Regular kind. I always say that. Okay, Liliana, what do we order? A McCrispy in a Sunday? So this is what she said when we just closed the tab. What the hell? Yes, it's fromage. Fromage is cheese in French. <laughs> Today. Not anymore. And now that I can tell you the way I feel, they're not going to change anymore. Not fondness for him at all. No. There's not a smidgen of kindness in his whole fucking body. Like, that's not self-serving. Like, you guys can just tell what kind of person he is. I don't even need to fucking talk about it. And ruin any more of my life or energy on this person. So let's just cut our losses and move the fuck on. God. <clears throat> Get hyped, it's BOGO time. Buy one, get one. Oh my god, it's meant to be. I just got an Uber Eats tick. Get the hell out of here. She just got an Uber Eats offer. No, 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 no. Who said it was a rage? She raged, She may have raged for like a sentence. That's what I was worried about, but it was worth checking in because if she had started popping off, it wouldn't have lasted long because that edible is in there, right? Uh, No. No, no, no. Not a sentence of a rage. Fuck all that noise. Whew. Anyway, y'all. 
I'm going to say we're caught up in Shantopolis because she took an edible. Nothing else is going to happen tonight. It's not even one of those, well, oh, something happens, we'll start. Nothing's going to happen. She's going to, the voice will get more and more quiet. It'll start getting slurry. She's going to eat whatever the hell she ordered or just whatever. Fuck all that. Uh, we're caught up in Shantopolis, okay? Fuck this. Tomorrow is another day and we will pick up with this tomorrow. Not slurring mess food. No. It's enough. It's too early in the week. Mm -mm. Y'all, thank you so much for being here. It was a good time. We had a good laugh. We talked more about cheese and food. We, what? It always turns into food with this. We are a group of fatties at heart. Love that for us. I'd rather talk about cheese. I had a better time talking about fromage tonight than talking about Chantal. <laughs> Sometimes she just, she is background noise and she'll never accept that. Whatever. I love that for us. Y'all, have a great, great rest of your nights. Please be safe. Keep your masks on. Have a great day tomorrow. And I'll meet you back here to catch up again in Shantopolis. Bye, guys.